Hello, it's Scott here from WebSpy and today I'm going to demonstrate a few simple features that you can use in WebSpy Vantage in order to create a nice clean report on the sort of sites that people in your company are visiting. To start off with I'll just show you that I've imported a few of my web proxy log files into a storage which I've called a web proxy and then I went to the summary screen and I've run a quick analysis on that storage. Here you can see the range of summaries that Vantage has produced from my log files. For example, you've got categories, you've got dates, day of week and hours, but you've also got a range of site summaries. Whenever your log file contains a URL, Vantage creates these site summaries for you to analyse, one of which is site name. And if we just look through the list of site names we've got here, you can see that we've got images.smh.com, resources.smh.com, uh, img0.gmodules.com So you can see a list of sites that people have accessed but it's not all that pretty especially when you've got all these subdomains cluttering up your data. So what you can do is simply click the site domain summary and that cleans up the list of sites quite substantially. Now we can see that only one entry for smh.com and it makes doing things like this a lot easier. I can select Google, google.com.au, right click, drill down, into the site keywords that people have used. In other words, what have people been searching for in Google? So that's one way that you can clean up the list of sites that people are accessing. But if you look a little closer, you can also see a few other sites that you might not be too interested in reporting on. Google Analytics, for example, if you hit the WebSpy website, there's a few hits generated to Google Analytics where we're tracking visitor activity. Um, and quite a few other sites that uh, are serving ad banners and uh, tracking activity throughout the internet. Fortunately we've got a fairly easy way that you can get rid of that information from your reports. We have a summary here called Site Profile. Site profiles are using our own keyword profiling technology to categorize URLs into categories. One of these categories is advertising. If I right click and drill down to the site domains that have been categorized as, as advertising. You'll see that I've got Google Analytics, IMR Worldwide, 207.net, all of those sites that we were looking at before that uh, people generally aren't that interested in reporting on. Now I'd just like to mention that the list of sites that get categorized as advertising is completely customizable. Here on the profile screen you can see that if your URL contains any of these keywords it's going to get classified as advertising. Now if your URL contains one of these keywords but it also contains one of these exclude keywords then it will get removed from the advertising profile and classified as something else. So now I'm going to show you how easy it is to generate a nice clean report by filtering out the advertising profile. So I've just gone to my report screen where I have a list of report templates that I can generate. I'm going to look at this user site listing by time template. You can see that it's going to pull out a list of my users. Uh, this is going to be my top five users sorted by size and it's going to show me all sites they've accessed by time. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly generate this report with no filter so that we can compare the results once we uh, generate the report with a filter. So I've just clicked the generate report dialog, gone through the pages with default settings and here comes my report. So here I've got a list of my top users and for each user I've got a list of the sites that they visited by time. And you can see that it, it's quite a nice comprehensive list of sites that the person has accessed throughout the day. But there's still some sites in here like StatCounter and a bit of noise that you don't really want to report on. So let's just try this same report again. Um, this time instead of generating it as a static web report, I'm actually going to just demonstrate another feature of Vantage Ultimate, which is publishing reports across to a web module. So here I have a web module that I'm connected to and I'm going to publish that same report that I just created across to my web module. All I need to do is select the write report template, select the storage that I want to report on, select the web module to publish this to because you can have more than one web module, select the person that you want to publish it to um, and this is using the configuration on the organization tab of Vantage so I'm going to select R. Uh, Jackson who's my manager to view this report permissions, I can select other people to view this report if I want to or other managers and here's where I'm going to add my advertising filter. 
So I'm going to add a field value filter for site profile equal to advertising. And I'm going to make sure I exclude that profile. And I'll click OK. And Vantage Ultimate then goes to the storage, generates the report, and then publishes that across to my web module. Now you notice that I attributed it to a particular person, so I'm going to log in as that person, which is R. Jackson. I'm just going to grab their login name. I can see down the bottom of the screen that my publish has finished. So I'm going to open my web browser. Uh, it's pointing at the web module that's just running on my machine at the moment. And I'm going to log in with that person's credentials, a blank password for ease of demonstration. And you can see here that I've got a list of uh, reports that have been generated for me. So the latest one is this user site listing by time. I'm going to drill into that report. And it's the same report that you saw before, so I'm going to look at B White sites and see the list of sites visited by time. And it's the same report, only you will notice that some of those advertising sites and statistic sites are no longer in the list. So it's an, a much nicer clean list of sites that the person actually went to. But you'll still notice there's, there's a bit more stuff that you might be interested in filtering out, such as this hit here. Uh, only one kilobyte, zero browsing time to macromedia.com. Um, there's a few other hits like that as well to a few IP addresses, which is only a small amount of activity and a small amount of browsing time. So I'm going to further modify my report template just to get an even more filtered list of sites. So I'll return back to Vantage Ultimate, go back to my Reports tab, go back into my report template. I'm just going to edit this All Sites by Time node. I'm going to go to the Having page and I'm going to make sure my report includes only sites where the total size is greater than 100 kilobytes. Click OK. Now I'm going to go back to my web module, click Publish Report, click through the same pages where all my settings are remembered. Um, fortunately I've got a filter to exclude the advertising profile already saved. and I'm just going to click OK. While that's happening, I'm just going to fire up my web module window. OK, and I can see the report has finished publishing in the background there. So if I click refresh on this page, I've got my new user site listing by time. I'm going to expand into that same user to see the list of sites. And you'll see here, if I make sure this is ordered correctly by time, that all of those sites that had a uh, total size of less than 100k have now vanished. And so this is now a more accurate indication of sites that have been visited intentionally by the user.